The American remake of Shudder turns 15 years old today. The original 2004 one I watched as a kid and it scared the hell out of me. I think it was one of the first scary movies that I've seen. The remake of The Grudge was my first scary movie and then it was either Shudder or something else with a girl, a white dress, and long hair. But I haven't seen the original in a long ass time so I went back and watched it and it's still good. It's still scary to me mainly because it takes me back to being 4 years old and getting scared of every single little thing when you're just a kid. Long hair, okay that's scary, white dress little girl that's scary you know stuff like that stupid stuff when you get older you're like why the hell was i even scared of that Tun is a photographer and he and his girlfriend Jane accidentally run over a woman while coming home from a party and instead of checking to see if she's okay or call for paramedics or whatever, Tun wants to flee and it would be the worst decision that he'll make. The things I remember before watching was the red room with the photos. I thought there was a photo of a bathroom and it used to creep me out because it looked very similar to the bathroom at my place and there was a figure in it but it's not in the movie or the remake so it's probably another movie that I saw but then forgot about. And then the photos with the dark or white lines which might as well be the same as old photos taken back in the 20s, 30s, 40s, and even beyond. They don't really smile for some reason and look like they don't want to take a photo at all. They're just like, okay, I'll take this photo. And I forgot as to why this lady was coming after these two and his other friends. Turns out Tun was a piece of shit. He was with this girl named Nathede? Nathede? Don't know how to pronounce that, but he left her a long ass. But also understand as to why he just left her. Nathede was a shy girl and sort of kept to herself and was seen as weird by everyone at the school that they went to. Tun was in a relationship with her, but then they didn't want to be seen as weird or be made fun of by his friends. That social pressure and wanting to be part of the cool group or whatever is something that some people do or think about when they're in high school or college. He breaks her heart and then his friends harass her and tell him to take a picture and this could have been the moment where could have helped her and been like I like this girl or whatever and they never talked to any of his quote unquote friends anymore but he cares a lot more about not being weird and takes the picture of Nathere asking for help and assaulting her. Jane is kind of there because she's with Tun and throughout the movie she gets confronted by scares and Nathere but instead of driving her mad like she did with Tun's friends and committing suicide, Nathere is trying to get her to figure out what happened, piecing all the photos together, finding the photos that Tun took. He probably kept them because he feels guilty but still I think I would probably not keep it and just get rid of them but whatever it needs to be there just so that Jane can find it. Nathere's endgame is that she wants to be with Tun forever which was a promise that they both made when they were dating and she takes it literally. This part of the movie was terrifying. Tun has neck problems and thinks it's a car accident but the doctor says that he's fine but constantly has neck issues and it turns out not that it was on his neck lying on him like they were in bed and he didn't die when he fell over the edge and is at a asylum place or whatever and when Jane comes to visit now that it is still there on his goddamn neck seen through that glass moving door thing which again is a very good and terrifying way to in the movie, Tun would be forever haunted by this for the rest of his life. Also, I did watch this movie at night, which made me not want to go to sleep. So just don't watch this movie at night, because all I thought about was this part. And then the remake is just okay. Back when every horror movie was getting a remake, some of them were just, for the most part, beat by beat like the original. There are some things that are different in this version, like instead of Ben's friends that asked for a photo, Megumi's family is the one that's treating her like crap and asking for it. The names are different aside from Jane. These changes don't change the fact that it's still mostly beat by beat and feels superficial just to be like, it's a change, but not really. And then Jane is more of a main character, which gave me a bit of hope that it would go a different direction. Aside from these things, everything is pretty much the same and Ben is the worst part about it because it's either the dialogue or the actor or both but it's bad. Anytime he's on screen it's not good. A beat by beat remake doesn't make the movie bad. It's mostly the same movie like the original but it's a waste of your time and you could just go watch the original. The original still holds up in terms of being peer pressured and to do things that you don't want to do because you want to impress or be a part of a group or whatever. Don't want to be looked at lonely person that has no one to go to. And the movie could have still worked without any connections. It could have had been a simple horror supernatural haunting movie that was caused by an accident and they just have to escape from the ghost of a girl that they just hit. It just would have been more simple. So go watch it. Go watch the original Thai version, it's still good.